here we are with kickoff. Rochester Zebras taking on the Peru Tigers at Peru. C team action here. First of September. Got kickoff here to start. Scott Seger with you, RTC TV4. Onside kick to start. Zebra's going to start at the 45 47 yard line. Good kickoff there. That was Quinton Sager with the recovery out of the gate. 48 yard line. Zebra's come out in their pistol. Two to the right. We hand off up the middle to the right side. Number 34 beats off a couple of tacklers. Gain on the play. Number 34, Bryce Baker on the carry. That was Bryce Baker, as you heard the PA announcer say. Try and get these names memorized for you here. And number 18, Dane Wilson. Bonus coverage of Zebra football. At the midfield strike. Beautiful night, little breeze going, but not too bad here at Tiger Stadium. Zebras come out second down. A little swing pass out to the left side. Going to be good for the first down and more. If you can't get the glare off the camera so we can give you the full Walker action here. From to Gary and Terrence. Enough for a zebra first down. It'll be first and 10 for Rochester from the Peru 35 yard line. That was Gary and Tarrant with the reception there. Of course, Drew Sailor's up under center for the Zebra C team. Come out with a nice first down. Another handoff coming to the right side. Ball scared by number 33. Picked up a couple. Number 34, correction, Bryce Baker. Baker again on that carry. Back by number six, Darian Cleaver. Gain of two on the play, second down and eight. Second down for the Zebras. Pitch to the left. Missed block there. Allows some penetration, picks up Ball a couple. Bryce Baker, Baker going to get us to the third down. About four to go, five Back to go, 85, six Wright. to go, it looks like, on that spot. So third and six for the Zebras with 8-11 to go here in the yeah, first quarter. Three. Third down and six from the Peru. Get here after an onside kick from Peru. Zebras had good field position to start this drive. So they're, see what they do here in third down. Back to pass, got some pursuit, tries to scramble. Doesn't quite get far enough. He's got some legs though. Drew Saylor's quite the athlete. Looks like it's gonna be fourth and three. Gain of three on the play. Brings up fourth down and three for the Zebras. Zebra's coming out, gonna try and punch it through here. Let's see what Sailors has in mind. Gonna pass out to the right side here. Is complete and enough for the first down. Sailors pass is complete, number 22, Justin Riston. That was Justin Riston on the catch. Tackled by number two, Damian Snavely, and number six, Darian Cleaver. Enough yardage for a zebra. First nice down. little pass first there by Drew Sailors. The Zebras have a nice drive going here. First and 10. 6.55 left in the first quarter. You're watching RTC TV 4. Two to the left side. Sailors back to pass again. Almost gets it picked off. Sailors pass. As he overthrew his receiver. 
a lot of guys there. Receivers need to learn to space them out a little bit better, run their routes so that they give each other room. But nothing bad happened there. It's going to be second and ten. Play coming in here. It's number 12 running it in. That's Seth Castleman. Fumble on the play. Looks like Peru's going to recover. Number 18, Dane Wilson of the Tigers. First and 10, Tigers. Tigers going to take over on that errant uh, snap. Had a lot of that uh, during the first game with John Glenn. First time we'd seen uh, that happen today. Zebra's defense now takes the field. The Tigers from their own 35-yard line. So the Tigers take over. First and 10 on their 35. Pitch to the far side, handoff to the far side. Up the middle, boy, he's got some room. Missing some tackles, gotta get him down. And they finally do, but not until the 35 yard line. A great gain by that young man. Quentin Hines. That's more than enough for a Tiger, first down. First and 10 for Tigers from the Rochester 36-yard line. Zebras come in with a four-man front. Looked like somebody jumped there. Not sure if that's encroachment or a false start. We'll have to see. And it's going to be a false start on the offense. It's going to back the Tigers up five. Going to make it first and 15. First and 15 for Peru. From the Rochester 36, or correction, 41 yard line. Big Dylan Weaver down there in the middle. Got to get some penetration. Again, four in the box. They're trying to hit that middle hard. And then Peru bounces it to the outside wisely. Some good pursuit on the outside. Isaiah Hall. Number 23 brings him down. Number 23, Gary and Tarrant. Gary and again with that tackle. Four to play. Second down, 11. Call comes in for the Zebra defense. Peru over on the far hash. Looked like a false start again. Not sure what happened there. Some good penetration by the Zebras, but to the wrong side. Good run, enough for the first down for Peru. Ball carried number six, Darian Cleaver. Damage for 13 yards, enough for a Tiger. First down, first and 10 for the Tigers from the Rochester 23 yard line. Deepers come in for the blitz, hand off to the left side. Mark over number 10, Jake Steele. Good takedown, number 22 for the Zebras. Justin Riston. That's Justin Riston again. Gain of four to play, second down, six. Peru second and six, with just under five minutes to go here in the first quarter. They continue their first drive of the game. Hand off to the right side, some penetration, he busts some tackles, swings it out left, and in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers, number 44, Isaiah Hall with the carry. That's number 44, Isaiah Hall for Peru with the touchdown. Peru will attempt the extra point here. See if they're going to kick or go for two. Peru's going to go for two here. Let's see what happens. Hand off left side. The two point conversion is good as Jake Steele carries the ball in for two points. Yeah, and with 4.44 to go in the first quarter, it's Peru 8, Rochester 0. Jake Steele with that two-point conversion for the Tigers. It's going to give them a 8 to nothing lead on the Zebras here with 4.44 to go 
in the first half, or excuse me, the first quarter. Beautiful night out here in Peru as we prepare for this kickoff. See a nice train in the background. Giving the boys a little bit of extra time here for water, hydrate. Have the kickoff here in just a moment. Well, the onside kick worked for him last time. They were able to get the ball back on a fumble and return it back for a touchdown after a few plays. Little pooch kick this time. 22 for the Zebras, picks it up, heads right down the middle, follows the wedge, gets some nice return on that up to the 42-yard line. That was Justin Riston again, number 22. Zebras take over, first and 10. First and 10 for the Zebras from their own 42-yard line. Zebras come up balanced. Counter to the left side, and boy, that comes out in the background. Or in the backfield. Just somebody missed a block there and some great penetration. There is a penalty flag on the play. Flag on the play, however. Might have been a horse collar. Can't tell. Wait for the call. Holding against the Zebras. Holding against Rochester. The penalty is declined. They'll take the uh, sack in the backfield. Loss of five yards the tackle the in the backfield. It's going to be second and 15 here for the Zebras. Sailors back to pass. Scrambles to his left. Completes the pass just a couple of yards, about seven. Sailors pass is complete, number 86, Bryce Laman. Bryce Lehman with the uh, catch there. That's going to make it third and, let's call it an eight. Seven on the play. Brings up third down and eight. Tackle was by number six, Darian Cleaver. Zebras come up to the line. Lehman bobbles the snap, but gets off the pass. Number 24. Was it caught? They're saying that he dropped it, and there is a penalty flag, flag on the play. play. I think the ground, may have, as he came down, may have caused that, but it looks like we're going to have a pass interference. Let's see what the call is here. Pass was ruled incomplete. Penalty is pass interference against the Tigers. So that pass interference going to help out the Zebras there. <laughs> 24 Harrison Heller. Harrell, excuse me, Harrison Harrell. Marks off against the Tigers. Brings up first and 10 for the Zebras from the Peru 41 yard line. It's going to move the Zebras to the 41. First and 10. Keep this drive alive for him here.
Brings it back to the right side, but gets tackled just past the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of two. Ball carry number 23, Gary and Parent. Tackled by number 10, Jake Steele. Gain of three on the play. Second down and seven. Going to bring up second down for the Zebras, about seven yards to go. Again, a bad snap, and Sailors is able to land on it this time. Bad snap on the play. Ball is recovered by number five, quarterback Drew Saylor. He's going to back up the Zebras, bring up third down. Loss of nine on the play. Brings up third down and 16. Third and 16, Sailors back under center for a pass. Scrambles right, just tucks it and runs. Going to bring up fourth down at the about the 45-yard line, 46-yard line. Zebra's going to huddle up, think about some options here. Gain of one on the play. Fourth down and 15 for the Zebras. Garrett Gray coming in for the Zebras, number 49. Zebras here at mid, just on the uh, other side of midfield here, gonna go for it. Sailors back in the shotgun, looks to his left, goes deep, and over the head of his receiver, number 23. Passes Gary in and Tarrant, Peru will take ball over. Turns the ball over and down. 46 yard line. Tigers from their own 46 yard line. Like encroachment. Double flags on the play. Yeah, encroachment on the zebras. That's going to move it up five Red for Peru. Encroachment against Rochester. Repeat first down. Brings up first and five for the Tigers from the Rochester 49 yard line. Going to be first and five. Zebra's just not able to make the tackle there. Ran through a Little number of people, including big 79, Dylan Weaver. Just carried Weaver for a tackle couple of yards there. Dylan Weaver. Gain of eight, gain of nine on the play. That's enough for another Tiger first down. Here are the coaches on the Zebra side yelling, we have to tackle people. Need to wrap them up, bring them down. First down here for the Tigers. A nice catch on the counter there. Number 10, Jake Steele. Steele Back taken down 66. in the backfield. That was Austin Pomp making a great tackle there in the backfield. Going to be a loss of one. Bring up second down here with 23 seconds to go in the first quarter. Zebras trailing Peru 8 to nothing. They're going to let the quarter run out here at Tiger Stadium. Sorry, it's Bengal Memorial Stadium. We should call it by his proper name. Apologize to the Peru fans out there. That's going to do it for the first quarter of play here. We're ready to start action here in the second quarter. Peru with the ball, second down. 
Brings it to the right side. Zebras can't wrap up on the end. Backer's missing, just knocking him over, but not wrapping him and taking him down. Ball carried by Isaiah Good Hall. gain there. He's going to bring up Shot first down. Quentin Hines. Quentin Hines eventually brought him down there for the Zebras. For another Tiger first down. You're watching RTC TV4, based out of Rochester, Indiana. Glad to be following the Zebra C team tonight down to Peru here at Bangle Memorial Stadium. We first down and 10 for Peru. They're on their 30. Oh, a little bobble in the backfield. Zebra's pursuit is good. Got a flag on that. Not sure what the flag's gonna be. Nice tackle in the backfield. Number 86 and number 89 for the Zebras on the tackle. Holding against Peru. That's going to help the Zebras out. We've got a holding call on there. 86, Bryce Lehman. Of course, 79, Dylan Weaver. Back him up. The penalty is accepted by Rochester. A 10-yard walk-off. Tigers will repeat first down. It'll be first and 24. One split here to the near side for Peru. And there it is. Quick slant. Just missed the interception. It's going to bring up second down. It was Justin Rist in there with the breakup. Brings up second down and 24. Second and 24 here for the uh, Peru Tigers. 8.51 to go in the second quarter. Take a counter to the far side and boy was that open. Zebra's in pursuit, trying to get to him, but he's got the wheels. Touchdown, Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers, number 10, Jake Steele with the carry. Jake Steele for the Tigers. Nice counter around the uh, far side. Hole popped open and he just took off. It's gonna put the Zebras down 14 to nothing here. As Peru comes on to try the two point conversion. Pass to the right side. Zebras break it up. Point conversion is no good. So with eight minutes and 42 seconds to go in the first half, it's Peru 14, Rochester zero. Peru Tiger cheerleaders out supporting the team today. Tigers take a 14 to nothing lead over the Zebras here. Failed two point conversion with the pass broken up. Coach Mitchell and Coach Weaver over there trying to get the kids rallied back in focus. Chase Tyler will kick off for the Tigers. Tigers set to kick. Mishandled a little bit there. We zoomed out to make sure we didn't miss any action. Not too bad though. Zebra's going to take over. Looks like the 28-yard line. 
Plenty of time to get a nice march down the field here. Brings up first and 10 for the Zebras from their own 28 yard line. Zebras out two on the far side. Gonna do trips on the far side here. Sailor under quarterback, Sailors under quarterback. Could be a quick little pass out to the right. Quickly swarmed on by the Tigers. To bring up second down. Gary and Parrott with the swing pass from Sailor. Gain of three on the play. Tackled by number 18, Dane Wilson, and number 85, Cody Wrights. Second down and a long seven for the Zebras. Second and seven for the Zebras. Little pitch to the right side, near side, breaks a tackle, breaks another, looking for a seam, might get caught from behind, but if not, he's got a chance. Perfect opportunity, we'll look back to see if there are any flags. Signal from the referee is touchdown. Baker with the carry for a zebra touchdown. That's Bryce Baker for the zebras, breaking away, breaking the tackles, making it happen. That's exactly what this C team needed. Zebra's setting up for the kick. I believe. Thought I saw someone putting on the shoe. And no, no, they were just putting on a shoe. Zebras are gonna go for two. Looks like an option keep to the left side, didn't get anywhere. Sailors goes down, holds on to the ball. Going the first half, it's through 14, Rochester six. We see the Zebras on the board now, 14 to six. And that was 34, Bryce Baker. He's a sophomore, 5'9", 180 pounds. Great run from him to give the Zebras six on the board. 7.41 to go here in the first half. Zebras take a few minutes to get some extra words of encouragement from their coach. They line up here on the kick team. Back to the Tigers, number 44, Isaiah Hall. Kicking off for Rochester, number 24, Harrison Harold. Referees realigning the guys with a nice kick. Handled there at the 15 yard line. Oh, bust a couple of tackles. Come on, Zebras, let's wrap him up. Isaiah Hall on the return. Happy to see that, brought down by number 86. We'll get you a name on that. Tackle number 86, Bryce Lawman. Bryce Lehman, 86, Bryce Lehman. From their own 45 yard line. Quarterback keep, left side, and boy, does he get out and get going. Zebras finally trip him up. Makes it all the way down to what looks like the 20. 
Tackle at number 24, Harrison Harrell. Harrison Harrell, number 24, on the tackle. Touchdown saving tackle, we should yeah, say. 36 on the play. That's enough for another There's Tiger first down. Quarterback keep to the left side, gain of 36. Fumble. Quarterback picks it up, able to gain, eh, not quite back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like maybe a loss of one. See how they spot that. Loss of one on the play. Back by number 72, Jacob Mark. Second down and 11. That was 72, Jacob Mark, a 5'11 freshman on that tackle. Brings up second down here for the Tigers. Another fumble gets past him. Brought down by the Zebras. Fumble snap on the play. It's going to bring up third down. On the ball. Loss of six on the play. Brings up third down and 17. Just inside of six minutes to play here. Peru comes up, third down. Looks like a uh, pass to the right side. Receiver gets tripped up while blocking off the line. Incomplete. Incomplete's gonna bring up fourth down for the Brings Tigers. Fourth down for the Tigers. Brew lined up with uh, twins to the near side. Quarterback rolls out to his right. Deep pass. Nobody there, but he overthrows him. Apologize for the camera work there. Took you a little too far out. The Zebras take over on down. Zebra's going to take over after that. It's a good rollout, and the receiver did get behind our defenders. However, it was overthrown. It's going to give the ball to the Zebras. First and 10. Plenty of time to score here with 5.39 to go here in the first half. Drew Saylor in the pistol. We got a false start, it looks like, on the Zebras. We'll see what call is. Flag on the play. That is the call. False start on the Zebras. Man in, Dead looked like a couple of men in motion a little early. We won't replay that to protect the innocent. That'll be a five yard walk off. It'll be a push the Zebras back First five yards. For Rochester. And second 15. Wind's picked up here a little bit. Of course, I'm about 30 feet up off of the uh, ground. It might be a little better down there. Sailors keeps it. Looks like an option to the far side. Again, camera out of range there. Apologize for that. We've got glare. Can't see much through our screens here. Trying to guess as we go along. Hopefully we won't miss too much action. We have the sun at our back. Zebras take their time in the huddle there. Second down here for them. Sailors with a quick pass out to the right, but it's fumbled, or out to the near side. And they're saying no, incomplete pass, didn't take steps. So that's going to make it third and ten for the Zebras after Sailors got back to the line of scrimmage on the option play.
Sandler's back to pass, has the time. Complete, but just short of the line of scrimmage, or excuse me, from the first down. Looks like they pushed him back. Sandler's pass is complete to number 36. Looks like they're giving him the first down without a spot. And they are. First down, Zebras. Bryson 86, Bryce Lawrence. Bryce and Lehman with the catch. The first down. And right there at the line, a great spot for the Zebras, giving them the first down. Still some life left in this drive with 440 to go in the first half. Zebras trailing Peru 14 to 6. This is C-Team Football brought to you by RTC TV4. Glad you're watching. To the far side, oh, oh, got some good pursuit and brought him down back at the line of Ball scrimmage. Number 23, it was Gary and Tarrant. Back on number 30, Shannon Hood. Gain of one on the play, second down nine. Correction, no gain on the play, second down 10. You'll make it second and 10 here for the Zebras. Clock still ticking, under four minutes here in the first half. Not real sure what they were doing there. Looked like it might have been a option or double option. I'm not really sure. But Sailor's brought down for a big Number loss. 18, Dane Wilson. Number 54, Chase Tyler. And number 16, a little Dane more practice on that one. Turner. Like to see some of the more sophisticated offense coming out this year from the Zebras. Kids have a lot to learn. Third down and 16. Got to go back to the fundamentals to make sure that uh, you're pulling it off at this level with some motion plays, some quick pitches, swing passes, and whatnot. It's all motion oriented. Kids have to get used to that rhythm. Second game of the season here for the C team after suffering a loss last week to John Glenn. Down here at Peru, trailing 14 to 6. Sailor's back for the pass, and he's going for the gold. And it's knocked down. Left that duck hanging a little bit. Again, the wind probably held that up. He did take it far enough. That would have been a first down if he would have caught that. But now we've got fourth and 16. See what the Zebras want to do here with 2.53 left in the first half. Zebra's going for it here on fourth down. Sailors with a quick punt. An odd play, it caught everybody off guard, including the announcers, the coaches, the teams, everybody. Sailors dropped back as if to pass, ended up with just a quick little pooch punt. Went to, right to one of their linebackers who didn't really know what to do with it, but ended up running, gained a couple of yards. In the end, Peru takes over with 2.45 to go in the first half. First and 10 from the Rochester, 31. Zebra's got to put up a nice defensive stand here to close out this half. Up the middle again, number 44, weaves his way. Ball carrier, ball carrier number 30, 44, correction, Isaiah Hall. That's Isaiah That's Hall for Peru. Jacob Mark. Gain a four to play, second down and six. It's going to make it second and six here with the clock at 226. And here comes Peru for their second down attempt. Again, second and six. And some good penetration there by the Zebras. That's number 66. Number 30, Shannon Hood on the carry. Austin Pomp with the tackle. Back number 66, Austin Pomp. Brings up third down. Lost a three on the play. Third down and nine.
Minute and a half to go. Peru brings it around to the right side. Cuts back left through the middle and Zebras cannot catch up with him. Touchdown. Ball carry number 44, Isaiah Hall for a Tiger touchdown. That was Isaiah Hall again for Peru, having a nice game tonight. Going to make it 20 to 6 here. Peru comes out to attempt the uh, two-point conversion. Minute 15 left on the clock. Fumble and recovered by the Zebras. The conversion is no good. So with one minute and 15 seconds to go in the first half, it's Peru 20, Rochester 6. Well, we're ready for the kickoff here. Minute 15 left in the first half. Zebras trailing Peru 20 to 6. Zebras here to receive this kickoff. Kicking off the Tigers number 54, Chase Tyler. Chase Tyler with a kick for Peru. Eighty-six for the Zebras. Bryce Lehman with the return. Number 86, Bryce Lehman. Tackle number six, Darian Cleaver. Brings up first down and 10 for the Zebras from their own 39 yard line. Zebras from their 39, minute nine to go, first and 10. Layman out to the right side with a nice pass. Excuse me, Sailors with a nice pass to the outside. Sailors pass is complete to number 22, Justin Riston. Justin Riston with a nice catch. Had the presence of mind to get out of bounds. Fourth out of bounds, number 17, Michael Chandler. Minute one left on the clock. Zebras with a chance here. You know, try and put together a quick march to end out the first half. 47 yard line. Pitch to the outside or to the near side. Stayed in bounds. 34, Bryce Baker on the carry. Baker with the carry. Zebras call timeout. Somebody called timeout. Not sure if it was the Zebras. Might have been Peru. Gain of seven on the play. Second down and three. Okay, that was a timeout by the Zebras. 48.7 to go. Okay, coming out of that timeout. 48.7 left on the clock. First half. Zebra second down. Yeah. 
Lehman, or uh, Sailor's back to pass. A little bit of pressure, but gets it off. It's caught, but he does not get out of bounds. Complete number 24, Harrison Harrell. Harrell with the catch, gives the Zebras a first down. Clock did not move. Clock is moving now. He's trying to rush him. Zebras have some timeouts left, but I don't think they're going to use them. Let's see where this goes. Good exercise for some rush offense here. Nice pass across the middle again, though. Pass to number 22, Justin Rickman. Timeout, Zebras. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Zebras coming out of that timeout. Got some of their fans up there. Good little crowd came from Rochester tonight. Some watch some C team action here. A little bonus coverage for you here on RTC TV for C team. Zebras, as Sailors is back, goes for the pass, and he's picked off. Just quite couldn't get the arm on it. Zebras got to pursue here. Let's see what happens, and some good pursuit right there by number 34. Michael Chandler. Thirty-four coming across the field with some speed to make that tackle on the interceptions. Five seconds left. See what Peru's going to try and do here in the half. That was Bryce Baker coming across to make that tackle. Tigers take over first and 10 at, their, at the 41. With 5.7 to go. And they're going to... Kneel down in the first half here at Bengal Memorial Stadium here in Peru. You're watching RTC TV4. Second half coming up next. Well, welcome to the second half action here at uh, Bengal Memorial Stadium here in Peru, Indiana. Second half with Harrison Harrell doing the kicking. Harrison Harrell doing the kicking here for the Zebras. He just heard the PA announcer announce. It's uh, 20 to 6. Kickoff here for the second half. Zebras had some opportunities, made some mistakes. It's to be expected a little bit. Nice deep kick there by the Zebras, but they can't bring him down until he gets to the 26, 27 yard line. Good run back. For 20 yards, brings the ball out to the 28 yard line. First and 10, Tigers. I think the official spots the 27 yard line. 20 yard return. As Peru takes over first and 10. Hand off up the middle, coming around to the right side. Zebras wrap him up, able to bring him down after a gain of a couple. Number 10, Jake Steele on the carry. That was 23, Back Gary and Tarrant. Number 11, Quentin Hines. Quentin Hines on the tackle as well for the Zebras, number 11. Gain of five on the play, second down five. Be second and five here with 9.20 left to go in the third quarter. Peru looks like the same play. See if we can get the same result. Tries to bounce it to the outside. Zebra's in pursuit. Bring him down inbounds. That's Bryce Baker on the tackle, number 34 for the Zebras. Tackle number 34, Bryce Baker. Going to bring up third down for the Peru Tigers. Third down and four. And make it third and four. Looks like a uh, false start or encroachment there. Not quite sure. Looks like we got a false start. It's going to be the call. It's going to back up Peru another five yards. 
Dead ball, illegal procedure penalty against the Tigers. That'll be a five-yard walk-off. Still going to be third down. Brings up third down and nine. Going to make it third and nine now. And it's pass over the top of the outside linebacker there, but over the top of the receiver as well. Sanders' pass is incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down. Brings up fourth down and nine. Seen that a couple times tonight. Don't want to pick on any one kid in particular, but defensive backs, you got to keep the receivers in front of you. Linebackers keep the receivers in front of you. For the Tigers, number 44, Isaiah Hall. Looks like Peru is going to have a punter. Back deep for Rochester, number 22. Couple of twins to this side for pursuit. High snap, still gets it off. A nice punt. Fielded at the 42, taken down to the 42. About a 10 yard gain, 9 yard gain, maybe on the spot, an 8 yard gain. Ball the turn by number 22. Justin Riston, there is a penalty flag on the play. That was Riston on the return. However, zoom over to here, and we see a little yellow hanky. Let's see what we're calling. Spot Illegal of the foul block. penalty. Illegal block in the back. That's going to be a penalty marked off from the spot so that's going to take us back to the 38 so that'll make a net loss of four for the zebras on that return need some momentum to roll the other way for the c team zebras here down 20 to six with eight to go in the third drew sailors Ready for the snap, brings it up. Bryce Baker on the carry to the right side, wiggling, steps out of bounds. Might have made the first down. Let's Baker see what the call. Bryce Baker. And Baker does get the first down for the Zebras, right at the 49 yard line. That's enough for a Zebra first down. It'll be first and 10 for Rochester from their own 49 yard line. Pitch to Baker. Baker looking to come down the near side. Gets another first down for the Zebras. Slow to get up, though. It's two in a row. Needs to catch his breath, maybe. Gain of 11 on the play. First down, Rochester. From just inside the Peru 40-yard line. Baker stays in. Zebras with two consecutive plays for first down. At the 40 yard line. Hailers, Sailors with a little pass to the outside. A good block. Gets him a gain of about two. Tackle by number 18, Dane Wilson. That was Riston on the carry. On the reception, I should say. Second down for the Zebras. Cross to number 23, takes it around the outside, enough for a first down. Gary and Tarrant. Gary and Tarrant again on that run. Nine on the play. 
Peru making some trades on defense, freshening up their legs a little bit. Zebras making some good gains here with 6.30 to go in the third. Sailors with a handoff to Baker. Not much there. Back to the line of scrimmage, though. Dane Wilson for Peru with the tackle, number 18. Gain of two on the play, second down, eight. Gonna be second and eight for the Zebras. Coming to the outside, that's Baker again. Let's see. Force him out of bounds. Nice run, though. Ball carrier is number 34, Bryce Baker. Back at number six, Darian Cleaver. More than enough for a Zebra first down. It'll be first and goal. Best drive of the year thus far for the Zebra C team. The Peru 10-yard line. See if they can punch this one in from the red zone now. Ball at the 10. Sailors and company ready for the snap. Single receiver wide to the far side. Sailors rolls to the far side, trying to outrun the end. Fumbles. Peru takes over. Fumble on the play. Not sure if that was busted or what really happened there. It didn't look like a rollout, maybe. But Peru will take over after that mistake. Fumble is recovered by number 54, Chase Tyler. Well, that ruins a good drive for the Zebras. 12 yard line. See if defense can get the ball back for him here now. It's number six for Peru runs the play in. I can get you a name with the number. That's Darian Clever or Cleaver. And Peru takes over. First and ten. It's like a false start, perhaps. Legal motion. Wait for the call. Dead ball, illegal procedure against the Tigers. Half the distance to the goal. Backs him up a little bit on the illegal procedure call. Again, 20 to 6, 530 remaining here in the third. Zebras were looking uh, at a promising drive right there. Drew Sailors. Roll out to the right side, and it resulted in a fumble. See if Dylan Weaver and crew can get the ball back for him. Well, thank you for tuning in to RTC TV 4. Some special coverage here tonight. Kind of a miscue in the backfield as the uh, backs ran into each other. Six. Still enough for a gain of three. On and one of the Zebras comes up hopping. Quentin Hines on the tackle there, but Ethan DeWalt, a uh, six foot, 226 freshman for the Zebras, comes up. Uh, looks like he got an ankle stepped on there. Going to be all right, though. Well, Peru comes up to the line, second down. Coming over to the near side. A lot of lead blockers there. Gets enough for a gain of maybe three. Two, it looks like. Gonna be third and five, third and four. Peru comes right back, just trying to run it up the gut. Zebra's trying to surround him and bring him down. We'll see where we end up there. Another zebra bent over. It's like the wall again. Now he's shaking a hand. The zebra stood there. It's going to be fourth and one with four to go in the third. We're going to go for it here. Good opportunity here for the zebras. They just got to get in there and stuff them. Quarterback keeps. Moves it along. 
more than enough for the first down. Clock continues to roll with 3.47 to go here in the third. First and 10 for Peru. Tiger, first down. Counter brought down in the backfield by the Zebras. Good penetration across the board there. Going to bring up second down and 10. A loss of an inch or so on that. Number 54, Waylon Hayes, 5'3", freshman, coming in at 138. He's entered the game for the Zebras. Opportunity for a stop there. Ball carrier number 10, Jake Steele. Jake Steele with a nice run, brought and down by number 23. Play. That's Gary and Tarrant. Tackle by number three. Correct number 23, Gary and Tarrant. Justin Riston also there with the assist on that tackle. Two minutes to go here in the third. Zebras down 20 to six. Peru third down. And five from the 30-yard line. It's like a keep. Ball carrier number six, Darian Cleaver. Cleaver brings it up uh, two yards. Quentin Hines on the tackle there. It's going to be fourth and one. Less than one for the Tigers. Comes into about actually six inches. Let's see what happens here for the Zebras. Zebras got to be on their toes for a, uh, not to jump here, follow the ball, not the count. Peru doesn't try to get him off. They just run the ball and they get it across. Number six, Cleaver on the carry. Moving it at will. That's going to put him. Uh, for another Tiger first down. You heard the PA announcer, Tiger first down. Beautiful night here in Peru. Breeze has subsided. Sun's fading in the west. Crisp air reminds us of football weather. Glad you're joining us here on RTC TV 4. Second game of the season for the C-Team Zebras. A loss last Saturday to John Glenn. Looking to rebound here with Peru. Down 20 to 6. Less than a minute to go in the third. Peru runs to the near side. Zebras struggle to tackle him. Hood with the carry. Hines on the tackle. Hines comes up with a slight limp. Gain of eight on the play. Second down and two from the Peru 44 yard line. Eight yard gain. Going to be second and two. 23 seconds to go on the game clock for the third quarter. Another whistle there. Penalty flag on the play. They're going to call an encroachment by the Zebras. Dead ball encroachment against Rochester. So that's going to automatically give that'll be enough for another Tiger first down. A first down. And also enough to end the third quarter. Well, Zebras the trailing third quarter 20 to 6. Four, You're watching RTC TV 4. Well, welcome back to Bengal Memorial Stadium here in Peru, Indiana, where the C-Team Zebras are taking on the Peru Tigers. Tigers leading the Zebras 20-6. Starting out the fourth quarter with the ball at the 49-yard line. Zebras have had some opportunities here. Fumble here, fumble there. Had some good defensive stands and also some 
big giveaway. So they got to learn to wrap and they got to learn to take them down. As they spun them around there a few times. Gang tackles. Tackle by number 22, Justin Riston. Gain of three on the play. Second down and seven. That was Riston who ended up bringing him down. About a two yard gain there. Second down for Peru. Double counter, came in back this way. Enough for a first down. Got some momentum there. It was well executed by the Peru Tigers. Number 10, Jake Steele. Jake Steele, number 10. We've seen him already tonight doing good work for the Tigers. Number 22, Justin Riston. Riston with the tackle. Tiger, first down. They get excited about first downs here in Peru. What a good game. Glad you're joining us here on RTC TV. First and ten for Peru. Quarterback keep. Nope, nope. Hand off to number 30. I apologize. He's brought down. They're going to give him his forward progress. Tackle number 34, Bryce Baker. Baker with the tackle there for the Zebras. Brings up second and ten with eight and a half to go here in the fourth and final quarter. And off to the right, up the right side middle. Ball carries number 30. Dennis Gets him about eight on that, maybe nine. We'll see. Ooh, comes Dennis back a little bit. Six. Tackle by number 34, Bryce Baker. Baker on the tackle third for the Zebras. Going to bring up third and four for the Tigers. Hand off to number 10, that's Steele to the right side. Just enough, looks like they're gonna give him, might be about a foot short of the first down. We'll see where they spot it. Tackle number 50, Zach Dugan. It's gonna bring up fourth and about a foot for the Peru Tigers, leading 20 to six over the Rochester Zebras. For the Tigers. Neighbors calling out their assignments. Good communication. See what they can do here. Number six just torpedoes through for the Walker, first down. Six, Darian Cleaver. Darian Cleaver. Gain of five on the play. That's enough for another Tiger first down. He pops out. Number 17 coming in. First and ten for the Tigers. From the Rochester 26-yard line. We first and ten with six thirty to go here in the first, or excuse me, in the uh, fourth quarter. Michael Chandler, five eleven freshman, came in, take a few snaps. Nice job there! What a great play by the zebra number eighty six. Bryce Lehman. Bryce Lehman with a great play on a blitz. Good call by the coaching staff there. Five on the play. Second down, 15. It's a loss of about five on the play. It's going to be second down for the Tigers. 15 to go. Again, I'm not sure if the Zebras are trying to time that or if we had a false start. It does look like a false start. That ball, illegal procedure against the Tigers. 
That'll be a five-yard walk-off. It'll back the Tigers up five yards. And now second and 20 for the Tigers. Second 20 now for the Tigers. Handoff, but nailed from backside pursuit. That's number 23 with the takedown. Gary and Tarrant on the tackle, but we do have an injured player. Zebras all take a knee. See if I can get a number for you. Looks like maybe a stepped ankle, back of his, back of his leg. Replacements coming in. Number 68 is Dominic Turner. And his replacement, John Alberts, just came in. Maybe a cramp. It's late in the game. That's often the case, although it wasn't so hot today that they'd be dehydrated. Just got stepped on a little bit there. Zebra's trying to get some quick water there. And referee's giving everybody a little bit of water, getting everybody going. Well, again, a beautiful night here in Peru, Indiana. Seeing the trains coming by. Lots of fans on both sides supporting C-Team football. And you. want to thank you for watching RTC TV 4. Coming out of that injury timeout. Peru sends one to the far side. Third and long. Tries to run around the middle there, and boy, he gets to the outside. That's all he had to do. Zebras are able to stop him before he gets to the first down. Heck of a run, though, number 10. Ran out of bounds by number 22, Justin Riston. Gain of eight kilo flight. That'll bring up fourth Her down and two. That was Harrison Harrell on the force out there, number 24. Looks like we have another player down, another injury. It's a zebra this time. Thirty is that thirty four Bryce Baker? That is thirty four Bryce Baker. Looks like he's uh, limping a little bit there. Four forty two to go here in the fourth quarter. Zebra still trailing twenty to six. Fourth and two for Peru. Peru comes to the line. Zebras need a big stop here. Quarterback's going to keep. Backside pursuit brings him down. Zebras going to take over. First and 10. 17 10 over here. Loss of one. Tackle number 23, Gary and Tarrant. Not Ga enough for the first down. Gary and Tarrant, Dylan Weaver and others in on that tackle. Great job by the defense. 19 yard line. It's got to give them a little bit of pride right there with that hold. First and 10. We'll see what the Zebras can do here with 430 remaining in the fourth quarter. Zebra's in motion. Quick pursuit. Not able to get much. Can't break free. It's going to be a gain of about four, three and a half. Ball carrier number 23, Gary and Tarrant. 
That was Gary and Tarrant Dane Wilson on the tackle. On the run. Gain of five on the play. Second down and five for the Zebras. Second and five. Right at four minutes to go here in the fourth. Drew Sailors. Busted play. Busted play by the Zebras. Running back ends up with it on the bad snap. Gary and Tarrant with the uh, pickup. Gets a couple of yards out of it, actually. Going to bring up third down for the Zebras. Third down and three for the Zebras. About third and three here for them. Sailors with the pitch to the outside. Good block by the outside receiver. Busts open a nice hole for him. First down for the Zebras. Carries it out to the, where are they going to spot it? About the 40. Ball's pumping around. About the 44. More than enough for a Zebra first down. First and 10 for Rochester from the Peru 43-yard line. First and 10. 2.56 to go here in the fourth. Zebra's trail, 20 to 6. Shown some spots of great promise here from the Zebra C team. Some fundamentals are lacking, but they're working on those. A lot of freshman, sophomore out here. Sailor rolls out, goes up deep, interception. Either overthrew one or underthrew the other. Pass is intercepted by number 17, Michael Chandler. Chandler with the reception, or with the interception, I should say. To the Peru 49 yard line, where to be first and 10, Tigers. It was 22, Justin Wrist, and brought down Chandler. Peru going to take over at the 49. With 2.45 to go here in the fourth. Dylan Weaver in for the tackle there. Ball carries number 30, Shannon Hood. 34, Baker also Ball in on the tackle. 56, Austin Pomp. No gain. Second down, 10. Peru, second and 10. Just outside of two minutes. Look like a uh, illegal procedure, number 65 of Peru. Back him up five yards. That'll stop the clock at two minutes and seven seconds. It'll be second down and 15. Reset, clock resumes. Peru comes to the line. Second and 15. Big hole, big hole, big hole. Now it's a foot race. 24 able to get him out for the Zebras. Nice run, stops the clock. Harrison Harrell with the uh, push out. That is more than enough for a Tiger. First down. First and 10 for Peru from the Rochester 34 yard line. Jay Steele takes it to the 30. Jake Steele. Tackle number five, Bruce Sailors. 
Sailors with the tackle. Gain of four on the play. Second down, six. Gain of four, second and six. Clock running, 1.30 to go here in the fourth. Number 30 with the carry for Peru. Takes a gaggle of Zebras to bring him down. My goodness. Ball well, number 30, Shannon Hood. Hood with the carry. Boy, what a great carry for him. Carried about five Zebras on his back. There's a fumble on the play. But he does fumble at the end. I was watching. I wasn't sure. Fumble at the end. Ball ends up in Zebra possession. From their own. 16 yard line. With 53 seconds to go here in the fourth, 20 to 6, Zebras behind. As I said before, it showed some promise tonight. A few mistakes have cost them some points up on the board. Fundamentals of tackling are, I'm sure, going to be preached a lot over the next week, if not the next few weeks. Sailors takes the snap, quick pass. Little, almost a screen block there. Pushes him out of bounds. Later pass is complete, number 23. Gary and Carrick. Knocked out of bounds by number 24, Nick Stepler. Gary and Tarrant with the reception. Up for Rochester first down. It'll be first and pass to the Zebras from their own 30 yard line. Pass is incomplete. incomplete pass to the outside. Second down and 10. It'll be second and 10. Of course, that stops the clock. 46 seconds left. Gain on the play, about five yards. Taron again on the carry, third down. Less than 30 seconds to go in the game here for the Zebras. Working on some fundamentals, timing, trying to put some more points up on the board. Sailors back to pass, has a blitz in his face. Tries to outrun it, scrambles to the right side, and goes down. They're calling him down. Clock's going to run, and that's going to do it. Right. Peru's going to win this one, 20 to six. Zebras had some opportunities the here. Game with the final score, Peru 20, Rochester six. Definitely saw some improvement over the uh, John Glenn game last week. I want to thank all the hosts here at uh, Peru. You've been quite hospitable. I want to thank you out there for watching RTC TV 4. We'll have more C-Team coverage as we go through the year. Till then, I'm Scott Sager with RTC TV 4. Check us out on RTC4.com. Thanks for watching.